Mods are great, since we can't expect a new Stardew Valley update for a while if we even get one. We kind of need to rely on mods for new fun, but there are thousands of great mods out there. Which one do we pick? I gotcha. Let's speedrun the most fun mods out there. Night events are rare, but they are really cool, right? Getting a crop fairy or a meteor is always a win, but they happen so rarely. Well, not anymore. More. This mod allows you to force a night event when you sleep. Now you can abuse crop fairies for ultimate profit. Or you can create a meteor shower. Look at all of those meteors. Perfect. You have a small amount of energy in Stardew Valley, especially in the early game. You could quite easily chop down a few trees, plant some crops, and need to go to bed at like 9am. This is solved in multiplayer since it allows you to lay in bed to regain some energy. But what about people who play in single player? Well, this mod fixes that. Just stand still and you will automatically start to regain energy. This is great since it works on your farm and even in the mines. Stardew Valley is fun and all, but do you ever want to bend the rules a little bit? Do you ever feel like taking some risks? Well, now you can with the shoplifting mod. This mod will allow you to shoplift from any of the shopkeepers. If you get caught, you will have to pay for what you took. But if you get caught three times in a month, you will be banned from that shop for an entire month. It's more fun when the stakes are high. This is a farming game, meaning growing crops is important to succeed and thrive. But what if you need to make a cup of coffee? Do you pause the game? Invest hours and resources into crafting sprinklers? Nah, I'm too lazy for that. I'll just use the auto watering mod. This mod doesn't just keep your crops watered for you, that would be boring. This mod moves your character and manually waters every crop for you. It's kind of entertaining to watch to be honest. With the addition of the volcano dungeon and the forge, we can boost and upgrade our weapons and tools and make them stronger, faster, bigger and better. But wait, Sir Concerned Ape forgot about the humble slingshot. It's fine, this modder has got our backs. With this mod, you can use galaxy souls to create an infinity slingshot. We can also use prismatic shards to add a random enchantment to our slingshot. My favorite one is definitely the automated enchantment. It will cause your slingshot to keep firing if you hold it down. Pretty cool, making using it much, much easier. Stardew Valley is a pretty safe game. Most of the time, we are at no risk of dying. We can only really find enemies in the mines or on your farm if you pick the wilderness farm. But it is still relatively easy and nothing we can't handle. Luckily for us, we can use this mod to make nights in Stardew Valley much, much harder. Hordes of enemies will spawn at night and come for us. This is a challenging mod, but it's fine. I like the challenge. What if Stardew Stardew Valley was more like a survival game. To be honest, I was absolutely addicted to Ark Survival Evolved at a stage, so I kind of like survival games. So what if Stardew Valley had a hunger bar and a thirst bar, and severe penalties if we don't keep them up? That is exactly what this mod does, and it really does add a lot of depth to the game. It's surprisingly challenging in the early game when you are broke. Plus, you can configure the penalties and make it even harder if you want to. Do you know what Stardew Valley is missing? No? Okay, I'll tell you. A trampoline. Perfect. This is just perfect. Thank you, modder. You are truly doing us a service here. Actually, the modder that made this much-needed trampoline mod has close to 500 mods, like this skateboard mod. Wow, now that is impressive. Concerned Ape did us good by not adding paid DLCs, microtransactions, and loot boxes. But what if I want loot boxes? This is what loot boxes could look like if they were in Stardew Valley. Buy a loot box opening machine, buy a loot box for a massive 7,500 gold, open it, 
and get nothing of value. Perfect. This is exactly how loot boxes should be. Now to keep spending gold and hope to get something good. I wonder if I will ever break even. Minecarts are one of the most useful upgrades for completing the community center. Getting around the world faster is always a win for me, but it is kind of limiting, right? So yeah, let's just place our own tracks wherever we want and use minecarts to get anywhere really fast. You can choose how fast you can go, which means I can do something like this. Nice, perfect. Now, if only I could go even faster. Stardew Valley is a pretty slow game. You can speed this up a ton with the help of animation cancelling, but you need to be good at the game to do that. I would rather find other ways to rush around while being bad at the same time. What about moving while using tools? This small, tiny change doesn't seem like it would change your gameplay that much, but wow, it makes a huge difference. Being able to move, hit trees, hold the ground and water your crops is way more effective than you know. Accidentally placing a bomb down on your farm is one of the most damaging things you can do. It can destroy all of your crops, processing machines, flooring and generally cause a ton of damage. But what if you could place down a bomb and then water the bomb fast enough to cause the bomb to water your crops instead of damaging them? What if that was a reality? Doing this is still incredible incredibly stressful. If you miss the timing, you might destroy your crops. If you get it right, your crops will get watered. Risky business. Running is tiring, walking is tiring, even swimming is tiring. Luckily, we can rest a bit by sitting on chairs. But what if we don't have a chair with us? The truth is, carrying a chair around is tiring as well. So how about we just sit on anything? That is exactly what this mod lets us do. It can be a little bit goofy, but yeah, sitting on anything is pretty nos. Stardew Valley has a bunch of great melee weapons. I mean, nothing can really compare to those amazing infinity weapons, but the ranged weapons are incredibly lacking. The slingshot is just not it. Luckily for us, we can fix that. No, no, I do not mean a bow and arrow or a gun. Fire breathing, yes. This does indeed seem like the natural progression from a slingshot. Fire breathing, we stole the ability from the dinosaur in the skull cap. Does that make us a dinosaur? Super buffed up iridium pickaxe that can one-shot resources and absolutely demolish the mines? Wow, that is so boring. Who doesn't have one of those? Breaking rocks with your mind? Now that is incredible. Yeah, when you are using your mind-bending powers, you have to stand absolutely still and are susceptible to monsters absolutely wrecking you. Yeah, you have to stare at valuable resources for a really long time to harvest them. But hey, isn't this cool? No, fair enough. Daggers kind of suck, right? They have no range, they can basically only hit one enemy at a time, and if they don't critically strike, they deal very little damage. But the dagger has one major advantage. They are incredibly fast and nimble. The problem is, is that we cannot respond fast enough to fully utilize them. So you know, just make the game do it. With the help of the auto attack mod, your character will immediately turn your character and smack an enemy with your weapon. Surprisingly, this works best with daggers, and I can survive this massive onslaught of enemies without even moving. Nice. Now the dagger is finally useful. 